Welcome to CEO Connect, brought to you by CU Solutions Group. On this month's episode, we discuss the unique role of a chief learning officer and how even a small credit union can implement workplace learning. With the latest third quarter 2019 call report data in, it looks like the median average size credit union in the U.S. now holds around 35 million in assets. It's useful to put that into perspective at times. Fully half of the nation's approximate 5,400 credit unions are at that asset size or smaller, and they likely have fewer than 12 employees. So for most credit unions, the idea of having a chief learning officer is pretty unrealistic. And in fact, most credit unions are challenged to have specialized C-suite executives in other important areas like technology, culture, member experience, or business development. And yet, most any credit union leader would attest to the importance of training, leadership development, and culture enhancements tied to a commitment to employee development. My guess is that even among larger credit unions, the idea of a dedicated chief learning officer may be an expensive luxury, where this function is instead blended with other human resources functions or shared with outside service providers who help with the training function. Certainly state and national associations and CUSOs help meet many of these training needs as well. But technology can level the playing field in so many areas for credit unions. Customizable learning management systems like CU Solution Group's TLC360 platform can allow credit unions and CUSOs to create their own digital university that blends soft skills training with core system and frontline skills and resources for leadership development and staff training. And shared learning universities can also be customized and created on a credit union by credit union basis or shared by a group of credit unions. One CUSO that creates a collaborative and shared cost platform for learning is Grand Rapids, Michigan-based CU Answers. With a 50-year anniversary milestone coming up for the company in 2020, CEO Randy Carnes and President Jeff Johnson have built a true cooperative ecosystem at CU Answers. Their CU-based core data processing software is used by 178 owner credit unions across a 22-state footprint. These credit unions range in size from having 600 members to over 100,000 members. But equally impressive is the QSOS commitment to helping these owner credit unions achieve their staff training needs. CU Answers offers CU Answers University with hundreds of online training courses, in-person training sessions, virtual training opportunities, and a robust library of training videos. The course library and calendar include a heavy emphasis on the QSOS Q-based software but extends to soft skills training, member service basics, and even leadership development and board training. So beginning in 2020, how will your credit union address the important function of board and staff development and leadership development that would typically be the role of a chief learning officer? In the January, February 2020 edition of Harvard Business Review, the role of larger company chief learning officers was explored. As I read this article, I considered its relevance to credit unions, and here are a few thoughts. First, credit unions should know that workplace learning has become a key lever for success for any successful company. The most progressive companies might call their chief learning officers transformer CLOs because the new role includes the reshaping of culture to shift from the development of skills, where you check off the box, to the development of mindsets and capabilities that are more experiential and immediate. Let me give you an example of that. I recently attempted to deposit two checks into my check-in account using my Credit Union's remote deposit capture function in my mobile banking app, something that I'd used very often in the past. But in this case, after two attempts, the deposits were rejected each time. And I failed to understand the auto-respond message coming back to me in my email that said that the endorsement needed to include for mobile deposit only on the endorsement line. I visited a branch on my way to work where a teller explained the new credit union policy on remote endorsements. And I wondered how many other members had been similarly confused and negatively impacted by that policy change. This would be a good example of experiential and immediate member-driven training that could be done to improve the member experience 
so that those instances could be minimized or avoided with other members. So while a strong learning management system like CUSG's TLC360 might be a first step in this direction, Credit Union should also gather staff to discuss member service feedback in a more immediate, weekly or monthly manner, as opposed to just offering training courses. This is where an experiential, real-time learning culture dovetails with the important priority of improving member service. This coordination doesn't have to be done by a dedicated chief learning officer, obviously. More realistically, it would be assigned to a member of senior management, especially in smaller credit unions. A second learning from the Harvard Business Review article is that leadership development needs to cascade down from the top. Every CEO and every senior leader needs to commit to moving from skill development to changing mindsets and behaviors to better meet service needs. This then can cascade through the organization in monthly coaching meetings by asking simple questions like, what do we need to be doing differently in our various service areas? A third learning from the article is to realize that different methods of training apply to different audiences and skill development needs. For instance, purely digital formats like the TLC360 platform that I mentioned and turnkey videos are best suited for hard skills, mandatory training, and simple topics. But face-to-face -face or blended formats work better for soft skills, ad hoc training, and more complex topics. Digital formats are better for larger groups and remote employees, making TLC360 a valuable tool, and relying on resources from trade associations and CUSOs might apply better to the face-to-face -face formats for other types of training. But the bottom line takeaway for credit unions, in my opinion, is this. In a dynamic, digital, and hyper-competitive world of talent acquisition and retention, credit unions of all sizes need a roadmap for an improved learning culture. Most can't afford a dedicated chief learning officer function, but the deliverables can be achieved with a team approach or by assigning this important function to another senior team member. As credit unions excel in this area, improved member experience and credit union growth will be enhanced. CUSG looks forward to offering performance management solutions that work together in areas of learning, performance, and compensation management. And the TLC360 product provides a great solution to help meet these needs.